Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging rational equation today. Equation is x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 plus x square plus 1 plus x times x square plus 2 equal to x square minus 3. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. So as you can see, denominator is having even powers. So this value cannot be 0 for real solutions. Now I will write one identity, algebraic identity. It is x cube minus 1 formula. So we can write x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1. Now I will replace x. Let us replace x with x power 4. See this formula will convert into x power 12 minus 1 equal to x minus 1 power 4 and second bracket I will write x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1. This is our numerator. See this term. So I will I will divide both sides with x power 4 minus 1. So let me collect this value x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1. This value will be x power 12 minus 1 over x power 4 minus 1. x is not equal to 1. If you will check your original equation, then x is not 1. Not equal to 1 here also. Similarly, I will replace now x with x square. See what will come out. Replace in this identity x with x square. So it will become x power 6 minus 1 equal to x square minus 1. Second bracket x power 4 plus x square plus 1. This term is our denominator. So I can collect x power 4 plus x square plus 1 value from this equation it would be x power 6 minus 1 over x square minus 1. Again x is non 1. Now I will put both the values in the given equation. So it will come out. Let me write here. Here I am putting this value. Then this value will be x power 12 minus 1 over x power 4 minus 1. This is our numerator only. Now come to denominator. It would be x power 6 minus 1 over. So let me write in the numerator x power 2 minus 1. Now I will use algebraic identity. Once again it is difference of two squares. So a square minus b square a plus b times a minus b. So let me use here. So I will write x power 12 as x power 6 whole square minus 1. So it will become x power 6 plus 1. x power 6 minus 1. Similarly, I will use difference of two squares here also. So I can write x square whole square minus 1. So this value will be x square plus 1 and x square minus 1. Let's put both the values in the given expression. So I will write x power 6 plus 1 times x power 6 minus 1 x square minus 1 divided by x square plus 1 times x square minus 1 times x power 6 minus 1. Now we will cancel both the terms. See what will come out. Now again I will use a cube plus b cube identity. So x power 6 can be written as x square whole cube plus 1 whole cube. Denominator is unchanged x square plus 1. Now a cube plus b cube in the numerator it would be a plus b. So I will write x square plus 1 a square plus b square minus ab. So I will write minus x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1. Now these two terms will be over. So ultimately the rational value of this expression is x square x power 4 minus x square plus 1. 
So in that place, I will write this value. Let me write x power 4 minus x square plus 1. Remaining term, these terms I will write as it is. So it would be plus x cube, expand this bracket, plus 2x equal to x square minus 3. Take all the term to one side. So x power 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus 2x and then I will write plus 4 equal to 0. Now you can see it looks like the coefficients if you will see only then I can use this as reciprocal equation. So I will divide this equation by x square. So divide by x square as x is non-zero for this equation. If I will put x equal to 0, 4 equal to 0, which is not true. Divide with x square. x square plus x minus 2 plus 2 over x plus 4 over x square equal to 0. Now write like first and last term all together and second and second last term in one bracket and the constant minus 2 as it is here. Now I will give substitution. So substitution is clearly visible. If I will consider x plus 2 over x equal to suppose t, then I will write x square plus 4 over x square. Let's take squaring both sides. 4 over x square plus 2ab. So denominator x, that term will be cancelled. 4 equal to t square. So x square plus 4 over x square equal to t square minus 4. So I will put this value here. And this is already our substitution t. So it will become, equation will become t square minus 4 plus t minus 2. And remember our substitution is x plus 2 over x equal to t. So let me write t square minus 4 plus t minus 2 equal to 0. Equal to 0. So t square plus t minus 6 equal to 0. Let's apply Sridharachar formula minus b. So minus 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 minus 4ac. So plus 24 divided by 2a. So 2 minus 1 plus minus square root 25 over 2 minus 1 plus minus 5 over 2. So there are two values of t. First one is minus 1 plus 5 over 2. And second one is minus 1 minus 5 over 2. So I can get 5 minus 1, 4 over 2. So 2 minus 6 over 2, minus 3. So now I will substitute our substitution here for the value of t equal to 2 and t equal to minus 3. The value of t is x plus 2 over x. This is our t equal to 2. And then I will write x plus 2 over x equal to minus 3. Let's solve both the quadratic equation. So if I am solving first one, then I will write x square plus 2. Multiply both sides with x plus 2 equal to 2x. x square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. So from this equation, let me check delta discriminant b square minus 4ac. So minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 2. So this value is 4 minus 8, which is minus 4 negative complex solution. So we will reject this. So this equation is rejected. So which equation we will get solution. So that is second equation x plus 2 over x equal to minus 3. 2 over x equal to minus 3. Multiply with x both sides. x square plus 2 equal to minus 3x. x square plus 3x plus 2 
equal to zero. You can use factorization also. Let me use Sridharachar formula once again. Minus three plus minus under the root d square is nine minus four ac eight divided by two a so two minus three plus minus square root one is one divided by two. Minus three plus one minus two over two minus one. Minus four over two minus two. So there are two real values, two real solutions for given rational equation challenge. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.